What's up, guys? So I want to talk to you about the unexpected. Was that unexpected? I love this. I love this series. Two issues in, and I am sold out for this. Um, I, this is one I was like, ah, it looks so weird. Like you just look at these three or these four characters, and I was like, I don't know about that. Like it just looks weird. I kind of had a similar feeling with uh, oh, excuse me, with Mortal Men, although. Like, the, the intro to Immortal Men was kind of interesting, I thought. And uh, I just didn't even want to read The Unexpected. But then I read issue one, I was like, this is amazing. I love this. I love this. Who is um, who is the writer on this? Something Nord? Sorry, I've never heard of any. Um, but I haven't heard of a lot of people, so <laughs> don't take that personally. All right, so Carrie Nord and Steve Orlando are the storytellers great job great job i guess it's a lady and a guy excellent y'all have done excellent on this i love this series i did a video on this early uh before on the first issue uh it's called the unexpected unexpected um <laughs> and uh i love it man i love it it's really great um so i i'm really interested in this character He's really awesome. I think uh, we learned a lot more about him. His name is Neon. Uh, I'm terrible with names, so if I get some of these names wrong, I'm sorry about that. Um, we got Firebrand. She's really cool. Um, I thought she was... These two are the most interesting, I thought. But these two are the ones that I wanted to learn about. Because this d dude looks awesome. And this lady, she's very interesting. But... Spoiler alert, if you haven't read the issues, it's not a huge deal, I guess. Um, these two die in the first issue. I'm like, you've been marketing like this whole team of four, and then you kill off, the, and they're on the cover. They're on the cover. I think they're coming back. I hope they're coming back, because they talked a little bit about bringing them back. And uh, so I'm hoping that they get brought back, because I really wanted to know more about those characters. Especially this dude, who looks amazing. I mean, she looks cool, too. Uh, but honestly, these two are, are my favorites. I, this guy looks really awesome, but I don't know anything about him. They, they did a little bit more in, in this issue, and so that was cool. And so they were teleporting around. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is the old comic. came out a couple weeks ago. I'm, I'm behind. Sorry, guys. Um, you see Firebrand. She's fighting. I think she has to fight or she'll die. And so it helps her fight. And they brought, like, this weird... Uh, Manhawk, I guess that's another ripoff of Man, Man Bat, who's in the Justice League Dark. Um, I point this way because like, my stack of comics for the video I just did is over here, and that's where uh, Justice League Dark is. And uh, Man Bat's in that one. So I don't know as much about Man Bat, although he is in the first ish, er, episode of uh, Batman the Animated Series. So anyways... So we got this weird guy who's in charge. Don't know anything about him. There, there was a lot of confusing stuff going on. Uh, they brought this like Twi'lek looking girl. I was like, this girl's a ripoff of Star Wars. Like she looks just like a Twi'lek. Um, I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. Let me see if I can't find like the picture where she first shows up. Yeah, like so you see her here. She totally looks like a Twi'lek. I don't know. Um, somebody's a Star Wars fan over there. But anyways, I love this series. It's been really fun, really interesting. Um, and uh, there's so much mystery going on. I have no idea what's going on. don't know any of the characters. Um, but I'm loving it. I really enjoy it. Um, it's just, it's very serious. Uh, but the story is, like, the mystery just pulls me in. Um, so I don't know these people. And, and so... I don't really know how to explain it. Like, I read Immortal Men, and it was very boring. I, it, probably because they tried to explain too much too quickly. But this one has a lot of mystery, and I'm just like, oh, I'm curious. I want to see more. I want to learn who all these people are. I have no idea what's going on. And uh, so you're kind of like firebrand. You're thrown into this. You don't know anything. They explain a little bit here and there. This had a lot more ex explanation than the first issue did. But I love it. It's really great. So let me know what you think. Did you get the unexpected? Uh, what do you think of the other New Age of Heroes? Which one's your favorite? Um, I think I would go Terrifics, 
Um, the unexpected. Yeah, I, after this issue, definitely is number two now, and it's issue number two. Uh, sorry about my my slapstick humor. Um, and then I would go sideways. Silencer, new challengers. Those are my my top five. Um, what are the others? Oh, damage. I like damage. I might put him over new challengers. I really want to like new challengers because it seems very interesting. But the the second issue wasn't as interesting. I thought. Oh, I did, excuse me. I need to read the last one, the latest one. I think it's issue three now. I haven't read it yet. Um. I'm a little bit behind on the New Age of Heroes. I read kind of the ones that I want to, like Terrifics I'll read tonight, but um, or tomorrow. Um, but anyways, so let me know what you thought. Did you read The Unexpected? What do you think of the other Age of Hero, the new Age of Heroes heroes? And uh, let me know, uh, and I will uh, catch you next time. Peace.